Yo, what's up guys, Kadiz you 72 here back with another insane expanded deck video today. We're taking a look at the new card from Shining Fates, Del Mies V Max. 330 HP, um, Swinging Chain. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each uh, Grass Energy attached to it. So, if you get a bunch of energy on this dude, man, you're you're sniping Denenes on the bench, man, you're sniping Crobats, you can kill anything on the field. I've, I've killed tag teams in this video with Tell Me Spen. Um, also, Max Anchor, 240 damage for three energy. In case you don't get, the, you know, get that a bunch of energy on on this guy, you can just do this, but uh, you can't do that two turns in a row. But um, Tell Me V Malt also Anchor Anger, um, 30 plus 90 if uh, one of your um, Grass Pokemon were knocked out last turn. So this could be uh, good in certain instances. You know, 120 damage for one in, for uh, one energy is not too bad. Also, Giga Hammer could be uh, decent as well. But, um, yeah, so Delmis alone without anything is pretty bad, but we got some tools. We got Venusaur. Um, each basic energy um, attached to your Pokemon basically doubles. So let's say you have five on this guy. Um, you're doing, uh, what, um, 150, right, um, to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Um, if you got, if you had this guy, this, uh, this guy up, then you're doing 300 damage to your, bench, to your opponent's bench Pokemon with just this dude so we're playing a 2-2 line um, of these guys um, also rillaboom just to you know accelerate energy as well um rillaboom of course search your deck for two energy cards and attach them one of your opponent uh one of your pokemon we got a 2-2-2 line of that as well so having either one is great i'd probably go for the rillaboom first just to get that um energy quickly and then maybe try to go for a venusaur afterwards to try to double that for even more but it is kind of hard, you know, doing both at the beginning of a game in expanded where everything is fast paced mode. But um, yeah, so if you if we get both, then that would be insane. Um, but um, so we're playing Rowlet, Rowlet, and Ex uh, Rowlet basically uh, to, to evolve those guys because we, I don't play any rare candy. It's just not really, um, you know, ideal just to, you know, fight in rare candies. It's not going to work all the time. So we're using Rowlet just to do that, um, you know. Um, just to evolve them, you know, skip skip an evolution line, be, be perfect. Um, you can only do one of these per turn, so like I said, real boom first is what I go for. But um, super growth, search your deck for one um, a Pokemon and then evolve it. And you can actually evolve using Delmis also if you're ever in that situation. Um, but also 150 damage for three energy, heal 30, and then tropical GX 200. And if it has at least three extra uh, more grass energy, then uh, your opponent shuffles all energy um, from their Pokemon in, in their deck. So if you got Venusaur up, then all you need is three energy on this dude. Then you can actually GX and then, you know, uh, get rid of all your opponent's energy, which could be really good in some instances. Um, we're also playing one Denetti, one Tapu. We play Tapu uh, mostly just to try to bridge it first turn um, because you want to start second, of course. So. Bridgeting, um, you know, searching for Grookey, uh, Bulbasaur, um, Delmis, if you have like Rowlet, um, Rowlet as your starter would be pretty perfect. So that's like the main reason. Um, and then we're also playing Energy Recycler because I've had a few games where I do end up running low on energy because we play a lot of, you know, Sycamores. We're going to discard quite a few. So we kind of want to, you know, just have that um, backup, you know, plan to recycle that. Um, we're also playing one Field Blower. Literally use one of these in every one deck, in every one of my decks. Just a really good uh, card, just for any purpose, uh, uh, really. So, I also play two max potions. So, mostly this is going to be used for. Um, you could you could probably you know subtract maybe one, but I use it for you know, let's say you're you're trying to tank this relic and then you you know evolving these guys on the bench. Um, if you if your opponent you know attacks you, does a lot of damage, then. Max Potion, remove all that, and then, you know, you're, you're good to go. You can do another one of these guys, so. Also, you can do on Delmius, you know, Max Potion, and then Rillaboom, again, attach an energy, easy, more six energy, so that's another 180 damage, even after Max Potion. So that's killing a Crobat, that's killing a Denene Mem, um, yeah. Uh, we're also playing four Pokeballs, four Ultra Balls, just for getting any Pokemon. Um, one Scramble Switch. I feel like this is better than Computer Search. I didn't get much use out of it on um, this video, but it is really good, you know, in maybe like longer games. Um, um, just switching your uh, active Pokemon within your bench and then moving energy from it. Um, and then, you you know, you could max potion the damaged uh, Pokemon on the bench. 
That's the ideal situation. Also three VS Seekers, two Sign Labs, because we really don't, do not play a lot of basic um, basic um, abilities, only Denene and Tapu. After the first two rounds, like one or two rounds, you don't really need it. You, you really uh, don't need to use these guys anymore. So that's why we're playing some Psy Labs and um, end combination plus the Psy Lab has really won me some games this video. Um, yeah, one Bridget, one Guzma, just for switching. We don't, we honestly could, you know, discard it um, just because we do this, but it could be good um, in some instances, in some instances where you can't um, use swinging chain. Um, two ends, of course. Um, honestly, maybe go for a third one. Um, maybe go for a third Delmi SP Max. Um, um, I, I, there's plenty of additions you can make, you know, changes. This isn't a perfect deck, deck list. Um, could maybe subtract one of these, maybe another Max Potion. You could honestly search up, uh, s switch out for computer search as well. Um, yeah, two floats as well because um, we start with like a Delmis and then uh, you know we quick ball for one of these guys. We we definitely want to retreat, um, so we're playing a few float stones for that purposes. For that purpose, and then eleven energy, and that's it for the introduction. Let's get right onto the battles. Okay, going um, into the first battle of the day. Um, so I do want to go second, of course. Um, whenever you're playing Relic, you want to try to get those evolutions down on your first turn. You know, because because we're playing Relic, um, we got to evolve two Pokemon. Um, it, it's going to be hard to do that because you know expand is is really fast paced. So um, you know, if I just get one, then that would be okay. Then start attacking, but it's going to make me go first, so it's not ideal. But ev evolution Pokemon in that hand though. Okay, we start with the Delmise. Um, I got I got a Bridget to start, so I mean this would have been a pretty good hand actually because on my on my second turn because I could have Bridget. Honestly, I didn't even need to. I have a lot of quick balls anyways, but um, yeah. Um, I, I may have to just pass right here honestly because if I want to rally, like, I have to retreat. I played two floats, but um, yeah, I can't really touch energy to retreat, so. I'm going to kind of have to chew right here. Hopefully I have another Venusaur because if not, that would be bad. Um, yeah. So I got all my dudes. Um, I'll just go with the Relic. Starts with the Zigzagoon. I'll go with the Relic. Um, I'll, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to fill up my bench. Like there, I don't need a bridge it now. Um, so I'll get a Grookey now. And then hopefully I find um, some floats, some grass energy. That would be great. Um, okay, I got I got a sign lab, so I'm definitely gonna do that. Definitely gonna do that, um, and I can just stick him more next turn. Should hopefully get a flow. He's gonna he's got a swell. Start off the bat though. Okay. Cool. Um, a lot of useful stuff that I will have to discard though. He's playing a Tina Chomp. Yes, he does. He definitely has a start advantage on me. Definitely has a start advantage. Um, he's got two executes in the, in the discard though. So I'm probably dead right here. Um, yeah, I was really hoping I could get value off that side of lab, but um, yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, so I, I am definitely behind already in this game, but you know, could always come back. I can honestly just evolve Thwacky right here. You know, go for this guy next turn since I already have him in my hand. Um, all right, well, he's taking a while over there. But, um, yeah, de definitely this is the problem, going second. It's not ideal, honestly. He's got a great catcher. I mean, it is possible him for him to one-hit this dude. Of course, I mean, he did start with the Zigzagoon, actually. But he hasn't, used a, he hasn't used that supporter yet. So, you know, he's probably going to rocks. So he's probably going to find, you know, another Zigzagoon. He's got a great catcher, though. He will send up Rowlegg, so he's going He's going for the one hit, that's for sure right here. He's definitely going for the one hit. I mean, I do play another Rowlegg, but I mean, that's not ideal for, for this guy to die on my on my first, or on his first turn. And then I could just get another one to die again. But I mean, if, if, I, if I go down a lot of health, then I do have a max potion. But there is a really good chance that he does one hit me now. No, so he, he has the energy to, to do it now. If he has a Roxy, then what he would do, what, 240? He's got the scoop up, but 
He'd do 250 now. So he's got to have a muscle. So he won't want... That's actually really good. That's really good because this is going to be a pretty valuable max potion right here. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. Um, I got value from that. Um, but, I mean, I don't have to quick bowl. I don't have to do much. I can just, you know, Sycamore. Um, and then evolve my dudes. That's a lot of energy. Okay, so... I'm gonna go for Thwacky right here. And then I don't... Yeah, I, okay, this is good. Um, yeah, I'll do this. I kind of want to... I'm gonna Fuel Blower next turn, but... um. Yeah, I'm gonna go for. Uh, I'm gonna evolve Rillaboom right here first. I have an Ultra Ball, so I, I could just you know get the other uh, other dude. But all right, so nothing was really lost there. Nothing was really lost there, which is good. Um, I do need a Delmis eventually, though. That's for sure. Um, I do have two floats left. It's really good. May run low on energy though, which would kind of suck. I'll do that. So, yeah, I, I did discard this, and I will discard a few more energy, but should still be fine. This guy is scary, though. He, he is really scary, though. What is this guy? Huh. Okay. Interesting. I don't. I haven't really seen that card much at all. I guess this counts as a fairy. So he's probably gonna tap it for Roxy right here. Yep, there it is. Um, even if he does, he's probably got like one coffin and gonna get that this other execute. But um, he he still needs a muscle band to one hit me. But if I survive again at, at low health, then I'm chilling, man. I'm for sure chilling. Um, I could possibly do that, but um, I have no idea. I do have another max potion left, but I, I can't keep doing this forever. So hopefully next turn I find my Delmise and then my dude right here. I swear this guy has used a million balls so far. Jesus Christ. That's his sixth one he used. So I've got plenty of cards in his deck, so... He's going to put two damage counters on each Pokemon now. So all I need is one more scoop up, then he actually can one-hit this dude. I mean, I could tap it for an end. But I don't know if that would be the best option. Maybe it would, honestly. Because he's going to draw a lot of cards right here. So he's got the muscle band. He doesn't even, he didn't even need to scoop up. So he will hit me. I saved my field blower, so... He's, he's going to kill me. I will retaliate, though. I definitely will. Um, because I got energy. I can get this dude. Problem is, I do have energy on me, though. So he's going to do a lot of damage. He's got four treatment. I just noticed that. So I'll do this. Pretty sure. Okay, that's actually really good. So that means I I, I can tap it right now. Um, I I won't be able to kill hit kill this guy um, in one hit, which is kind of kind of sucky though. Um, actually, I could try to snipe his his bench, but that's what I could do. You know. Um. All right, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll just do this. So, right now I'm doing, I'm pretty sure I have my Tapu. Do I have N? Yes, I do have an N. It's pretty good. Yeah, my sign lab now would not, would not be too shabby. Oh wait, no, I don't have my Delmis though. I don't have my V Max. No. No, no, I didn't get him, man. Oh my god, I play three in my deck. No. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh, that's all I needed. I lost now. I've definitely lost now. No, dude. Oh, that sucks, dude. Oh, who do I want to sacrifice? Probably Rillaboom. Oh man. Yeah, that sucks, dude. He's probably just going to use me now, but I really need my Delmis right there, man. I had three Ultra Balls, three Delmis V Maxes in my deck. Like, come on, dude. 18 cards. Yeah, that, that probably seals the deal because I could have done, what, 240. I, I could have 
you know, killed one of his bench Pokemon there, but, um, it's not good. Um, because, uh, I mean, I, I could end again, like, if, yeah, but I really need my guy right there. So he's going to Guzma now, which is just bad. Oh, man, I really need that too, man. It almost worked. It almost worked. Um, I, I would have taken a shot as well. I would I could have taken a hit, but would have been pretty sketchy after that, though. But you know, what can you do it, man? All right. Got a target or so. All right. That works too, I guess. I still gotta do bench damage though. <laughs> These freaking executes, man. Joke. He's got a Roxy. But uh, does he have another great catcher, though? He's already used one. He's already used one great catcher. If he kills Rillaboom, then this game isn't over yet. Because he can do this, sure, but um, I can actually snipe him from the bench. But I need my Delmis, though. I, I literally need my Delmis, though. If I don't get him, man, I swear to God. Okay. I'm just I'm just literally praying for it. I got to end, too. Come on, because I can snipe his bench. Come on. There we go. Okay, but still. So I'll do this. Should be enough. So I'll do that. I've just got to pray that he's a bad hand. I really do. I really do, man. He just has to kill... You know, anything now, but it's got the swell. It's got a muscle band. So I win. I actually win this game. No way. Oh, man. I, bro, I thought, because that Delmis, I thought I lost. No way. I, Dude, I was, I was, I totally thought I lost this. I totally thought, dude, I was literally about to surrender, man, after, after I didn't get that Delmis, dude. I thought it was GG, but bro, the power up just like getting enough energy to one hit tag teams two times, man. Jesus, that that worked. I mean, <laughs> okay, all right, going into another game. So yeah, last battle worked out pretty pretty perfectly, man. Um, I, I told it, I totally thought I lost, but I ended up somehow coming back by uh, two hitting those guys. But um, another game. I want to go second. I do go second, okay. This is actually a really good hand. This is a, cause I can, like this is the best hand I could ask for, honestly. Um, I do have a Rillaboom, so hopefully I have another one in my, in my deck, but be the worst thing. Playing Tapu Koko, so this could be another Tina Chomp. This could be um, another light or a Lightning deck. Don't really want to play against the same deck though. But, um, yeah, it's not great to start with the Coco, because you need him to be on, on your bench, but, um, he's playing Scoop Up, so he could do that. He's playing Switch, so it's got to be a Lightning deck, then. All right, well, if he's, if he draws you, that's fine, yeah. I mean, I, if he buys me time, then that's cool. Oh, he's, he's got a Scoop Okay, well. All right, but if he's playing Jirachi, then he's going to buy me time. Which is good. I mean, I have a perfect setup right here, so I can do a lot. I can do a lot right here. He's definitely playing a lightning deck, which um, is actually should be a good matchup for me, honestly. Uh, maybe. I mean, I can't protect the bench, but um, on my second turn, there there is a really good chance that I can hit this guy uh, on the bench. Doesn't like as long as he as he doesn't. You know, do this before I, I 
before I kill him, then I'll be fine because I, I have I have a perfect setup right here. Um, I, I might as well just end as well, probably. Don't really need to equip all of them because I, I I got the strike. I mean, I could have Tapu and then Bridget. That's why I played Tapu mostly for the Bridget, so I could have done that. Wait, did he? Wait, am I tripping or did he search out a Bridget? No, I was tripping right there. But it's pretty set up, which is fine. I mean, you know, it's good. I, I got the second start, so I'm um, Oria that disadvantage. I mean, it, it it gives him more time to get set up, but he's he's not gonna get this. There's just no way. If he does, that'd be pretty pretty sucky. But if I could find my silent lab here, that would be helpful as well. Uh, maybe he's gonna he's gonna be playing like a probably like one or two field blowers. I mean, these are all standard cards, or not this guy, but he has a lot of standard cards here. He's definitely taking his time this this battle, man. He's definitely taking his time right here, which is fine. I got all day, man. Just waiting to do my thing, man. Anytime now. There we go. Alright. Here we go. Bridget. Try my, all my dudes. Yep, I do. I have every single one. Okay, I got enough tell me says. Um, I'm just... Um, I, miss, I'm, I am missing one max potion. Which could might be unfortunate. But I'm missing my Guzma as well. But, um, okay. Okay, I'm going to set up this guy. I'm going to go for... Oh, no, 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 I can't. Yeah, okay. I, well, I, can, I can't even end anyways, but... I'm going to set up Rillaboom first. There we go. And if I can do this the same uh, next turn, that would be, be perfect as well. If not, actually, wait, what, what was that? No, I, I I can't attack this turn. No, I don't know what I was talking about, but I definitely can't attack, so I could give them time to, you know, hit me. But for three energy, I do exactly 200, um, 240, so I, I could one hit without even have, having to, you know, evolve this guy. I would need to float, though. We need to float. So it looks like he, he will try to try to hit me. So I think that's my best option. I probably just want a Denene right here, honestly. Save a supporter. Um and yeah, just really boom. I'm on onto this guy. I mean I, I yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. I'd probably just put four energy on this guy then. He's gonna have to switch. I mean he's got he's got switches. He's he's got scoop and that's he's gonna switch. Um Oh, he's got that as well. I mean, that works. So he still needs energy. Okay, well, there's energy. So, I mean, that'd be great if he put on on himself, but I don't, I don't think that will be the case here. But um, I will have to find a way to retreat and heal myself if I can. So I will need to float that. That's actually for sure, because I can't Guzma. So. It's just gonna put on on Rachel though, for sure. But um, if I if I could get this playoff, then that would be really good. So that's what I'm hoping for right now. If and if I can like passively passively evolve this guy into Venusaur, like the next round, so he's gonna put on himself. That could be a really bad mistake. Ooh, I can't sign a lab. Yeah, because I, I have to do that right here, so I, I can't sign a lab. Unfortunately. Um. Okay. If I get this down, then I'm looking really good though. I'm gonna do this first with it on my deck. So I got Denene's, yeah. This guy does 240. That's enough damage. Just enough damage. Um, Alright, just gotta pray. Like, all I need is a float and a Delmis V Max, so. I, I have two floats, so. I have, I have a bunch of Sigmores as well, so. We'll see, man. I don't have computer search, that's what I don't have. That's what I don't have. I got the float. Okay, well that's that's perfect. Wow. Or, or I could have done that as well, but honestly, I kind of just want to. Uh... No, I'm gonna I'm gonna sick more. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna sick more. Yeah, just to thin even more. But no, I, I will one hit him, which is really good. And then he has no energy on the board, so I, I think he was just going for a risky play, but. 
unfortunately it didn't really pay off for him um, but you know that happens um i got two i i don't really need to play it yet but i mean i could actually do this and then and I just set up another dude, which is I think I I actually don't have this guy though, which kind of sucks. So I won't evolve him really any, anytime soon. But this this is probably GG right right here, honestly. So there we go, six energy down the drain. He's gonna use Coco. He's got nothing. There's my max potion, so could use it on Rally right here. Might as well. There's my Guzma as well. It'll just give me the win. So yeah, try to risky play. Didn't pay off for him. Got the easy one. All right, straight into another battle. Um, so I feel like this is a really strong deck, man. Um, it, it can be bad against really fast-paced decks because <laughs> if we can stall a, a few turns at the being at, at the beginning, then that's what I want. That's what I want. Um, this could be a decent hand if he gives me some stuff um, for sure. Playing Honchkrow. Which I I do this is this is a good matchup for me. This is a really good matchup for me. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, whenever I, I play Honchkrow against Raleg, man, it's 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 really tough to win. Like I don't see how the, I don't have any supporters, but I just don't see how this guy's winning. He's probably gonna lab me pretty soon. But um, I mean, I if if he doesn't, I I, I probably have to tap right here because I don't really want to discard this. Um, but yeah, there should be no way he wins this because I can just set up Rillaboom on my second turn. I mean, he, he does like no damage anyways. I play no specials. I barely play tools, barely play stadiums. Yeah, this game's over. But um, yeah, if you guys are looking to beat Honchko, then this this is for sure the deck. He doesn't know what I have yet, really. But um, don't know the best hand, but you know, I'm, I'll get Raleigh here. I don't really want to risk the Tapu. He's probably just going to search for a lab right here. Or special energy. Probably lab though. Which is fine. I do want to try to get other bench Pokemon though. That's what I do want to do. Because he, he he will unfair GX. But um, I don't know what he would do though. Because I, I don't have much in my hand honestly. But I do not. Have, but I, yeah I don't even need to do Because I can just really boom and then you know. Um. I wonder if he would do both of those energies though. Well, hopefully I have. If my if I don't have my other guy, then I'm kind of screwed right here. Don't really need Delmis. So I don't have my other real boom. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the hell? No, man. I don't have him. So he's gonna he's gonna discard this then. Oh man, you're killing me. Okay, well, this might not be an easy win now. Because he's he's going to discard this guy. Oh, man. There's no... I mean, he, he could Marty me, which I hope he would, but... Damn, man. That's so unlucky. I, like, I have a prize, but it doesn't matter. I mean, if I get my Bulbasaur, that would be, that'd be perfect, but... Yeah, that's that's not good. I could actually lose now if I don't get any good top decks. Is he gonna support her? He's gonna Guzma. I mean that works too, I guess. So I won't have a Rulum Boom. But um I'm actually I'm actually surprised he didn't do that. I could actually do a lot of damage right here. Um Well, I could do 120. I think I'll just do that. But I'm, I'm still in top deck mode, which really sucks, man. Because if, if I if I just really been right there, like, I have enough HP, and it would have probably been GG, you know, pretty soon after that. Um, but the game will continue, though. He knows, he knows I have nothing in my hands, so he's not going to mourn. He's not going to do anything like that. So... But any any other game, this should be an insane matchup for me. Any other game, I just had a really awkward hand in that real boom too. But is he gonna goose my again? Why though? Why though? He's gonna oh he's gonna unfair GX. I mean, 
He saw my hand. He saw that I had like nothing in my hand though. So I mean, I guess. Um, I honestly should probably just do this, and then just evolve this guy. But I'm in top deck mode now. I am in top deck mode. Um, yeah. We're both in top deck mode, but the problem is he's doing damage to me. Okay, that's actually really good. That's actually really good. Nice. I have no ivy sores. What? Two ivy sores, one rillo boom. No, man. Okay, thank God. Thank God. Well, I can't float. <laughs> Alright, just kill me then. Come on, man, just kill me. But dude, like, what are these prizes, man? This is so bad. This is actually so bad. Um, I like I if I do this, literally nothing will happen. <laughs> but um, I mean, still, like, what is he gonna do about against Delmis, man? What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? He's gonna. I mean, he's gonna have to get another Honchkru. That's what he needs to do. <laughs> okay, well, that was it. That was a terrible hand, man. Even if he t even if he hits a hammer, I still have an energy on me. But he he, he has to get another Murkrow, or else it's, he knows it's over because he's gonna kill me. If he doesn't have a Murkrow at all, then he should honestly just pass right here. Literally, he's gonna try the hammers. He does hit one, but um, hopefully he doesn't hit another one though. He's gonna pass. Okay. I'll do this because I, I want energy, but this is such a weird game where it it, it was such a good matchup for me, but <laughs> I don't know. I just gotta hope he doesn't, you know, land a million hammers now. He's already used three. He's already used three. Wait, did he just discard a Murkrow? He discarded a Murkrow in three what is he doing? Why would he? Why wouldn't he get another Murkrow down? I don't understand that. But okay. Oh well, that's his last Dust Stone. So he's gonna get, bro. Like, how's this guy so confident? He he discards three Dust Stones just like that, but gets an. Oh, he has he has no Honchkrus. Does he have two Honchkrus prize? There's no way. He hits another hammer. You've you've got to be kidding me. No man. Still, I mean, I could just kill this guy on the bench anyways. But this is such a weird battle, man. I have Guzma in my deck. That's that. That's the only way I could retreat right here, man. That's the only way I could retreat. <laughs> Why would he do that? Did he, th did he think I was bluffing, though? Did he think I was bluffing? I can only do 60 damage right here. Unfortunately. This is such a weird battle, man. I mean... Still, I, I mean, I will. He's got to do 330 damage somehow. So I don't understand how he's going to do that. All right, well, that's useless because it's not a lab. But um, I'll do this. Uh, he, get, he could start Team Flare grinding me, though. Still has one hammer left, though. I got 30 cards in my deck, so chances of me pulling a supporter are pretty slim right now. I only play one field blower in my. I'm not, I mean, I can't play it. So he's got the team third ground. Okay. But I mean, I can't still kill this dude. But he's going to go for another Merc round. Okay. I'll just do that. Get a few prize cards. Um, yep. Yeah. But still, like. There's my Rillaboom, but it literally doesn't matter. Literally do, does ma no, ma so I think no, I, I have a I have a Thwacky prized. I had a Rillaboom prized. I had two Ivy Swords prized. That's insane to me. That's actually insane to me. There we go. I'll just thin out my deck right here. But uh, if he has a Guzman, then he wins. 
So, you know, I guess I have to live with that. Wait, no, I, I do have a th I do have a thought. Well, okay, okay, but I mean, I just discovered my last real boom. So it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, so just do that. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I mean. Oh, wait, wait. No, 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 because I, I can't tap it. Yeah, I can't tap it now because I, I already did that. But, um, yeah, I mean. I won't even hit him anyways. I, I thought I hit it, would hit him for some reason, but that'd be ridiculous if he has another Guzman in his hand, dude. He's got a Marnie. Okay. Okay. So I'm still safe. Okay, that's actually a really good hand. I have my energy. Okay, this is actually... Wait, this is actually really good. No, this is perfect. This is perfect now. Because I can attach the energy N in the one. He's got nothing. I one hit him right here. He's got nothing. This is really good now. So I'll do that. And it, it's GG at this point. Unless he... I mean, I have a Sycamore, so he can't. You know, I'm going to get energy. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I had a Tapu price as well. What? Bro. He's gonna use my man. He's he's stalling at this point. He's just stalling. Okay, well I'm not gonna I'm not gonna max. There's literally no point of max pushing. I mean I can't float. I have a Guzma. Wait, I, no, I can't tap it because because of that. Um, I have a Guzma. I have plenty of energy. So hopefully I just get an energy to attach on this guy. But this guy will not quit right here. At all my Guzma, of course. Of course not. I got a thin man. But I just need to attach one more energy and that and I'll be Wait no I oh I win right here. Oh, okay. Alright man. So that was that didn't go as planned. That did not go as planned. And it was not my fault. Because my prizes that game were insane. All you guys know that. But um, usually this should be a really good matchup. And if you're playing Honchkro and see a Rallyg deck, immediately surrender because you're not gonna win. Like e even even after that, I still ended up winning. I still I still ended up winning. So you know, dude, it, it's just weird, man. All right, going into no another battle. So it looks like we we could be against a fire deck. Who knows though? Um, so we're gonna go second. Um. Yeah, this could be the last battle of the day, though. I kind of want to get some more, you know, longer battles in. I'll go first, which isn't great. Um, might as well just put down a Sign Lab right away, though. But I, I cannot do much on this turn. See, he is playing a Fire deck. That's not good. It's not good. I am very weak to Fire. So weakness plus the turn advantage for him. I'm going great. I mean, I do start with this, so I may as well just attach the energy because this guy could die. So I'll just do that. I got hope this, you know, sign lap kind of screws with them. I even if okay, well, okay, okay. Every time. I mean, I, I can't do it again, and then just sick more afterwards. But I'm kind of expecting to die right here, so that's why I didn't attach energy to this guy. So. Be playing the selfie no. I really know. It's actually good that he starts with the crowbat, so he didn't get the best start. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know if I I, I can even rally -like this game because he's probably just gonna easily one hit that dude, and I'm I'm gonna have like no chance to evolve my um Bulbasaur and and um Kuroki, so this could get pretty rough. Kind of have to maybe rely on my Delmis right here, but I hope he doesn't kill me. I hope he doesn't. So he's got his welder. I mean, why would he do that? Here he has his welder, though. Guess he does want a welder. Wait, what? Okay. 
Uh, maybe, wait, maybe he's scared of the, uh, oh, I guess he's scared of another silent lab. Makes sense, I guess. So he's gonna, I mean, that's not, that's not ideal from him. Yeah, <laughs> that's not ideal, you know, putting energy on the Lele. It's not great. I mean, I'll take that down, you know, buys me time, which is good. So maybe I, I, I could rally right here, but that means I probably will die though, which is the downside, but I'm, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Okay, well, I, I can. I mean, no, I, I, even if I die, I do get one hit off, and I have an N in my hand, so, you know, N's really kill this guy's deck, that's for sure. This game is not over. This game is not over. But this is a really good matchup for him. Um, Alright, well, hopefully I have all my dudes. Definitely gonna go for this guy first. Okay. Do that. Like there's no way he buys me time because he can like he can easily retreat now. He's got the welder. So he, he will kill me. He will kill me. That's for sure. He will kill me. But it won't be the end of the world. It will not be the end of the world. Um he needs he only needs three energy in it, in his hand, so um if he gets another heart, that should be pretty easy for him. Um and then yeah, he can easily retreat. So he does retreat. So he's got that as well. So he, he's definitely going to hit me. But hope, I'm, I'm just hoping this end really screws with him. And he will get four cards, which, you know, could do it. But with for this deck to be working, he needs, he needs a lot. Because if, if, if I kill this guy, then that means he has... Let, let, I'm, I'm going to wait for him to do whatever. And then I'll talk. But this card's a Guzma. So a, he has a Jirachi. He he has not discarded. The, okay, this is this could be good. So he'll kill me. Um, I don't think he needs to do that much, but sure, man. So I'll end him down to three. I'll kill this guy. Um, not and and then he's got I got the sign lab up, so he can't do any of that. Um, I may I may as well just put put it on this guy. I mean. If I if he one hits me, then I I'm dead. But yeah, I might as well. I like I, at this point, I really don't need a Venusaur. Honestly, now do not need him. So do that. Um. So yeah, like he he's he needs a new Blissfian. He needs a ton of energy in his hand. I don't see how he's gonna get it. Okay, that's a ton of balls, which I don't really need. <laughs> I don't really need. But okay, um, I, I I put my own sign lab up, so I can't. I can try to evolve this dude. Um, wait. Oh, I have no more Abby Swords. Wait, no, no, no! You can't tell me two are prized again. What? <laughs> dude, I'm done. I'm actually done. I'm getting really unlucky with my prizes, man. Um, I don't really need to do much right now, but. Two Ivy Source Prize, man. Come on. I mean, I guess it's the problem with playing two copies, but oh, and I had a Venus. Okay. But um, yeah. I'm, I mean, I can't Guzma because I already did the tap though. So he's got another Blissolf, and I if he, if he doesn't do anything, then I kill him on the bench. He ne he needs a lot going right here. He's gonna do that, which is fine because I'll kill him on the bench. I just need one more energy and I got it. And then I'll I'll just okay, this should be game. So that end that end worked. That end literally worked. That was really good. So yeah, I do 120 exactly. So I'll plop that guy out of there, man. <laughs> oh man. There's my heavy sword, but it, it's too late for these guys now. I, I just gotta keep doing the same thing. Like could be stuck right here he needs like a sycamore like anything else would not do him enough i mean maybe another steam though so he could draw you though but i just don't see how he's gonna you know do all this in a round and if he if he i don't know but he's got the via seeker but what is he gonna use though he's got to use me he's got a welder what is he gonna use i got no i guess he's gonna welder now but Alright, that's fine. 
six. Actually, he could do a lot of damage. Um, he's not going to welder, though. Um, so he's going to kill Rubu. I mean, that's fine. He, I, wait, no. Oh, he, he won't even kill me. Shit. Wait, I got a Via Seeker. Okay. I mean, I have two floats, though. But I, I got to thin out my deck right here. Do I have my scramble switch? I still I, I have my scramble scramble switch and then one float. Okay, well, I mean he's he's stalling at this point, so you know, um, I, I I do have to thin. I <laughs> I can't tap. Uh, I can't. But I mean, not this is it's hurting him way more than it's hurting me, which is the good thing. Um, I'll do that, and then thank God I got that VSU though. I'm definitely not gonna end him. But hopefully I get a, a, my, either my float or scramble switch. Or no, I, I'll, actually I'll, all I need is one more energy. All I need is one more energy, but we'll see. Okay, so I can do this. I don't have enough energy. Okay. Um, okay. Th it's it's not it's not the worst thing though. I don't. I should honestly. Okay, so I don't have enough energy. Great. Um, yeah, I probably should have saw that coming, but all I need is one more float. I have 14 cards left, so he's still in top deck mode. He's got a quick ball, but that's not going to help him. He's going to find a Blasphian, but I should get this float or scramble switch, retreat to this guy, and then hit him on the bench. That should be GG at that point. He can keep stolen all he wants, but yeah, he, he, he's going to... Okay, there we go. All right, so I mean... It, I mean, it kind of was a bad matchup for me, but that N, N is so good, man. N is so good because I I put a lot of Ns because, you know, they you, you use Relic. Um, you use Relic to, you know, um, stall, you know, a little bit to, you know, power up those, um, evolve those Bulbasaurs, those Grookies. And I'm kind of expecting him to die. If, if I max potion and save his life, that's great. But then I have an end to use afterwards. I have Sign Lab too. This can really screw over some decks, dude. This deck, this deck is good, man. This deck is really good. All right, guys. So that's gonna wrap up um, all the battles for this video. Overall, um, this is a really solid deck, man. Um, it, 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 this feels like the perfect combination, man. Um, just with either Rilla booing Venusaur or doing both, you can dish out massive damage. You can snipe poke on the on the bench, man. This deck is really good, man. Um, there are some weird battles though. I had a lot of weird prize moments um i mean we do play two copies we, we literally cannot play more than two of, of each of these guys but you kind of just have to deal with that sometimes it's it, it's not gonna happen happen much but yeah this, this deck can really lock opponents man with, with sign lab and got the cheeky max potion that can be um pretty good as well i think that was really good in the, in the first game but yeah um that's gonna wrap up this video so if you guys did enjoy watching make sure you guys leave a like subscribe to the channel that's it guys all right peace out